All right, we're here at the Quest for the West with Kurt Matson, and Kurt standing with one of his pieces. Uh, before we talk about the piece, Kurt, tell me, what do you think of the show this year? You know, I think, Michael, this year, this show has, everybody has stepped up quite a little bit. It's just fantastic in terms of the painting, the sculpture, the subject matter, uh, some of the risk-taking people have done. They've just done fantastic work. So, of all the years we've been in it, I think it's the strongest show that, uh, that we've put together. So it's very exciting, very exciting. Well, um, tell me about this piece. I know a lot of people have been talking about it. It's such a wonderful piece. Uh, tell us about it. This piece is called New Friends, and I'll tell you a little story about this. We, Wendy had seen on the internet that there was a girl at a rescue close to the house, and she was only five weeks old, and she'd been handled a lot, so we were able to get measurements. So I went out and measured her, and she was just so cute, you know. And so I thought, my golly, this is a great opportunity to put together a nice garden-sized piece and go indoors or out, but it tells the story about her and this whole idea of new beginnings. And of course, the butterfly is a representation of hope, and she's making those friends. You can see how the ear points her back uh, to, towards the butterfly, and then the massing in that pulls you around circular into the piece. So it was a great opportunity to be able to tell her story and to be able to have something that people would really want to love and get their hands on, you know, because that's what sculpture is so great about, is being able to be tactile like that. And of course, you're bringing uh, some really great cowboy pieces as well? Yep, we've got an Arizona cow puncher here, and you can see his old dog down here, you know, and I called this piece Arizona Shade Tree, because this one, when you're out working these cows, and boy, when it's hot, you hunt shade wherever you can. So he's got him up, and you can see he's got a big smile on his face. He's pretty happy because there ain't nothing better than being horseback out there versus cattle. And then we've got this guy here. Now this is 1870s, and this is what I called it when uh, house calls were horseback. And this is a doctor, a physician from that period. And you can see the bags that he carried all of his medicine in and that. And he's got jumped on his old horse. He's got the call and he's got to get there. And he's holding on to his hat. And this old horse is just taking him right on. So it's a great part of history that you don't see a lot of work going on. And this piece just really moves nicely. So there's a lot of great action in it. Well, fantastic work. And uh, congratulations on your presentation this year. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. Enjoy.